it goes. Alrighty, what the heck is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, if you're new here, do me one favor really quick and hit that subscribe button and join the Modern Diesel family. Today we have something pretty cool. I have never actually showed how to put an Easy Link on your truck. So today we're gonna hook the Easy Link 2.0 up to my 2017 6.7 Powerstroke F250. It's honestly very, very easy, but this is just gonna be actual video walkthrough how to do it. Let's go. All right, guys, so you just ordered your Easy Link 2.0. You got it in the mail, you're ready to hook it up. Um, very simple procedure. This plug here, OBD2 plug, plugs into your OBD2 port on your truck. Um, and you'll see this uh, little logo here in the center to light up. Once it is plugged in, you'll know that you have a proper connection. See that flash? So you know you're connected. Um, next step would be to download the app on your phone if you have not downloaded it. Um, I have two phones. I do it on my Android just because it's the, this is like my work phone and I leave it in the truck at all times. So I have this as the gauge. You go to the normal app store on your Android or Apple. Uh, very simple. Just find it, download it. I don't know where mine's at. Mine is right there. And if you do not have an account, you create an account. Very easy, enter your email, it'll send you a confirmation, you click that link in your email, pull it up, bam, log in, create a password, you're done. Um, so I already have an account, I'm gonna log in here. Once you actually log in, you just follow the procedure. EasyLink has a very nice um, picture diagram of exactly what to do. Um, hit next, you have to make sure your Wi-Fi is set up properly. Um, so open your Wi-Fi settings and choose EasyLink XX, which will be the serial number on the back of your EasyLink. So settings, Connections and Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is on. Easy link. Bam. Right there. Click the easy link. Um, auto reconnect, whatever you can do that. So connect. So it is connecting to the easy link. Bam. It's connected. Now you go back to the app. Um, don't know where it is. Right there. Dismiss. Okay, so now place the ignition on the on and run position and then tap retry. Truck is now going to be on. Click retry. Bam, there you can decide if you want the auto agent to access your device location, which you can or not. I don't care, I'll just hit deny for now. Um, and then you are fully set up. The EasyLink is connected to the truck. You have full monitoring capabilities to see your gauges or whatever you would like to see. Um, so you can go to gauges there. Let's see, you can turn it sideways and you have your gauges. And then you can go up and set whatever you would like to set. Click the screen, it'll pull up on the uh, all of your options here so you have engine coolant temp gps speed i guess that's for your location um, throttle position main injection timing transmission temp exhaust manifold pressure engine load injection pressure fuel rail temperature fuel rail temp sensor vehicle speed engine rpm battery voltage ambient air temperature engine oil basically there is unlimited monitoring capabilities with the new easy link especially on the newer trucks that have all the sensors physically built into the truck here you go, you can monitor them all. It basically taps into the truck's monitoring capabilities and pulls up all of your things. Um, intake air temperature, transline pressure, or turbo vane position, EGR valve position. It's, it's literally, it's endless. So you can set the three main gauges what you would like to see at all times. So normally you would wanna set your easy link gauges to something that you don't already have on the truck. You know, why are you gonna look at it twice? So you can go through and set whatever gauges you want. So now to set up your technician slash support pack to get your tunes physically onto your truck. Um, also very, very easy. If you're running a 6.7 power stroke and you order from us, you will have a nice, very detailed technician um, direction sheet that will be emailed to you upon order confirmation. So the first thing that you have to do once you get this all hooked up to your truck is you have to link to the technician. You can't have your tunes if you don't link to a technician. It's all sent over the cloud. There's not, these don't come like preloaded with tunes. It's not like the old like EFI Live or SCT or something like that. Um, you have to link to the technician. It's all done wirelessly over the cloud. Um, so you hit the tab up in the top left hand corner. You go to your vehicle. Uh, once your vehicle information is pulled up, you go to technicians, um, linked with. You haven't linked your vehicle with any technicians. Very easy. All you do is hit the little plus button up in the top right corner, plus, and then you, um, you know, accept the thing, you know, whatever, and then you enter your technician email. The technician email will be in your EasyLink directions that you received in the email. 
enter it in there, it sends off to them, they see it, they link you to them, and then bam, your support packs will be sent back over and they will be right in your ECU profiles. So it's a very easy procedure. You go to your ECU profiles. All of your tunes and your support packs will be there um, right in here and you just click whichever one you want and then you follow EasyLink's directions to download them to your truck. Very, very easy. It'll tell you to turn the truck on. It'll do its thing for a couple minutes and then it'll say turn the truck back off and then boom, you're done. Truck is flashed with the tunes and you're ready to drive. Now here's another thing. A lot of people think that you have to leave the EasyLink plugged into your truck. Once the support pack slash tunes are flashed onto your truck, you do not have to leave the easy link plugged into your truck. The tunes are flashed to your truck. They're on there. Unless you reflash the truck back to stock, they will remain on the truck, whether this is plugged in or not. Um, the only reason to leave this plugged in would to be to monitor your gauges as you see here which is very cool. You know, you, you get the little EasyLink phone mount that comes in the EasyLink box. You can put that wherever you want, hook your phone to it, and bam, you can see all of your gauges. All you have to do is find a spot where you can put this box up underneath your dash. It even comes with zip ties in the kit, um, so you can put it wherever. It is up to you to decide if you want to leave the EasyLink plugged into your truck in order to view the gauges at all times, but that's up to you. But there you go guys, there is a basic easy link setup. It's very, very easy. Once you are linked to your technician, your support pack and all your tune files will appear under the ECU profiles. You select your tune level, flash it onto the truck, you're done. It's that simple. Easy link is literally changing the game on the way vehicles are being monitored slash tuned all wirelessly. There's no more, you know, plug in your SD card or plug in the EFI Live uh, AutoCal to your computer drag and drop different tune files and this and that. It's very, very simple. It's all done over an internet connection on your phone and you are able to do data logs, which is very, very nice wirelessly. So you can go in here, record a data log and send it to your tuner, to your technician, and they will be able to see exactly what's going on with your vehicle and make adjustments if necessary and then immediately send it back. So there's no more emailing tune files or anything like that. It's a super cut and dry process. That's just very, very easy. So a lot of the times when I talk to people about, you know, what kind of tuner they're running, they say, oh, I'm running the EasyLink. And I say, okay, yeah, what, what kind of tunes are you running? Oh, I'm running EasyLink tunes. EasyLink does not physically make any tunes. EasyLink is just the platform on how the tunes are applied to the vehicle. So your tuner would be, you know, a tuning company that specifically makes the tunes for your vehicle and they are applied to the vehicle via EasyLink. If you guys have a power stroke and you want to run the EasyLink with the best tuning in the industry for the power strokes, hit the first link in the description, check it out, get yourself one 100% proven tested best tunes for the power stroke. You know, it's just is what it is. If you guys want to do that, go check it out. But if you guys want the setup that I have on my truck, you can go back through the channel and see what we've done. I did actual dyno numbers. I have a whole dyno video of the truck on the dyno with what numbers the tune will put down. Six, seven power strokes have a lot of potential and they're capable of a lot. But that's it, that's what it looks like there. Let's switch to the graph. So it actually records everything. Um, that green line there is boost pressure. And then you can toggle through and do whatever you would like. You can see boost rising. So you can actually see how your truck is operating. You know, if you have something weird going on, if you have an issue or anything, um, the graph does a great job of showing exactly what's going on, um, especially if you want to check like fuel pressure, rail pressure, or, you know, something like that, just to make sure your fuel system's in check. So I don't know, maybe this will create some more awareness on EasyLink. If you guys have some friends that are, you know, not familiar with EasyLink, share this video to them. It's just a super basic walkthrough of how to put EasyLink on, how it kind of works, what you can monitor and just kind of an inside look on the whole easy link situation very cool technology and i just absolutely love it hopefully this can uh, help you guys out all right so now that we're done with that i haven't took the haggard mercedes for a drive in a while so let's give her a rip huh you want to let's see if she'll start it's been it's been a while yeah buddy old haggard mercedes you guys want to do a quick walk around? Let's do a quick walk around. I mean, check this sucker out. This thing is team low and slow. Haggard Mercedes. Yep. Custom patina paint. I mean, you can't go wrong. Who can go wrong with a 1984 Mercedes five-cylinder diesel? 
hood stack and all. Now, unfortunately, this car is not supported by EasyLink. So, turbo is spooling, guys. On the boost. We are on the boost. I would like to put a boost gauge in here to see what kind of PSI we're working with. Um, would that be stupid to put a boost gauge in the Haggard Mercedes? I think no, but what, what do you guys think? Um, so anyways, we gotta go find coolant. It's like a ZRX G05 or something. I'm not really familiar with that kind of coolant, but it doesn't look like that's what's in here. It looks like whoever had this car before literally just threw some random, uh, you know, 50-50 coolant in there. I, uh, I might drain that out and put the right stuff in just because I, I do want the car to last. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this on the channel. So, uh, let's go. I gotta put some fuel in the old Haggard real quick because um, what I was trying to do was figure out fuel mileage for this thing. I mean, it's a five cylinder inline turbo diesel, so it probably should get some good fuel mileage. Uh, but I'm scared to run the uh, fuel gauge lower. I'm, I'm just below a quarter tank right now. I mean, this thing's a 1984. Who knows when the last time's fuel filters were changed? Who knows what's on the bottom of that tank? So I really don't want to run it lower than that. So right now I am gonna put some fuel in it and I'll just run the fuel back to that exact position and then we'll calculate our fuel mileage that way. But the, uh, oh, never mind, I take that back, it works. The, the regular odometer right there, um, 331,423 miles is, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like it works properly, but I'm gonna use the trip and then I'll try to use that also, but I'll use both of them that way I have a backup if one or the other doesn't work. Um, so this is the documentation now. How the heck do you reset the trip here? Oh, that's clock. Oh, there you go. Okay, so cool. Trip reset zero 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 on the trip. All right, I put uh, ten point zero zero one gallons in. So we're gonna see exactly what that gets. Um, I never put fuel in the car before, and uh, good news, it didn't leak. All right, so we got the trip on zero. We got ten gallons in the tank. Nothing leaks, fuel gauge works. Um, I'll try to do a rough estimate on fuel mileage, but let's go get some uh, coolant. Everyone looks at the Haggard Mercedes. All right, guys, we made it to the house. Um, dude, this car is literally amazing. Like, there's kids running next to it. Uh, literally like thumbs up people were smiling and pointing at it and taking pictures literally I drove by a car like younger kids driving I drove by and all of them. There was all two in the front two in the back. They're all just like You know as I drove by at the stoplight Dude, this thing is the coolest thing ever, but you know good news. We got our coolant some like Xerox uh, G-05 um, Not a clue what that is or how it works or why this car takes it, but uh, we got it and I also got some Blue valve stem covers. We're official now, boys. All right, so if you guys haven't seen my last upload, um, we are running an open turbo. I was just looking at filters at Advance. They have them. I don't, I don't know. I, I should have checked the size of this, but I'm probably going to put a filter on there just so nothing gets sucked in there. But okay, so yeah, the coolant is definitely a smidge low, and I don't know where to fill it up to, but here's an arrow. Okay, you see that arrow? But the dang thing is in freaking German, man. All right, guys, that is about it for today. The Haggard Mercedes is running like a top. We've topped off the coolant. We got some sweet new valve stem caps. Um, she is breaking necks everywhere we go. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the Modern Diesel family to see more Haggard Mercedes action and also more just cool action. I received the valve cover gasket in, so we're gonna do some sweet stuff to the car this coming week. Um, but that is it guys. As always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace!